Tip of the week number four is sensor wireless shutdown mode. That is the ability to wirelessly turn off your sensors at the end of the night so you don't have to open them up and turn off the power switch. What you have to do is basically pick up every one of your sensors, any one of your, every one of your tip-ups, and they have to be an alarm. So I just put this guy into alarm, and I would go pick up all my sensors, and my recommendation then, at the end of the night, once you have them all on alarm, is to go ahead, and if you look here, you'll see buttons five and six as sensor shutdown mode. On the new handheld, it's labeled. The old handheld, it's not, unfortunately. But if I hold the button down, it's gonna go into sensor shutdown mode, and you can tell it's in that mode by the chirping it does. Once I'm in that mode, if you look here, this is kind of what it looks like as soon as you go into that mode. So I basically just do a normal pull. I'm gonna push button three. You're gonna see him go, flash really quick red, and he shuts off. If you actually have your red LED disabled, you're still gonna see that red flash, and then it's gonna shut off. Uh, one easy way to check if they're shut off is to try to pull them afterwards if you want but you really don't need to do that. At this point in time, I can then shut off my handheld, like it's normal. Handheld is shut off, I can confirm it's off, no green lights flash when I press the button. So you might wonder, how do I turn the sensor back on? It's very simple, the magnet. Once it turns back on, he's back as a two-way device and communicating again. So you wanna make sure you don't store your magnets with your sensors. I like to actually store my magnets with uh, on the tip up itself and there's a tip of the week that we'll do later to show one of the benefits of doing that as well. That's it. Let us know if you have any questions.